and we are going to go over today. Remember, we went over last time. We went over the lotter. I meant the uh, factorial. We went over a couple of exponential questions, the flags, the the entrees of uh, meal, you know, desserts, and you know, multiply it together. Um, I want to go ahead and talk about today the lottery question because the lottery question is going to be on any test you take having to do with statistics. I don't care if it's if you're talking about a standardized test or whatever. So I'll go ahead and pull up the handy dandy lottery. I think it's called South Carolina Education Lottery. And there it is. And there it is. Eighty million dollars. Let's let's do that one. That's the Powerball. And how to play. And we'll just copy this right here. And copy. And pull up the whiteboard. I hadn't had training yet, so this might not work. And paste. Well, I don't think it worked. Hold on. There we go. I guess we just, there we go. All right, so I'll let you write this one down. And we're going to talk about some things about the lottery, about how how you do these problems. As soon as I get it. Are you going to teach us how to win? Say again. Are you going to teach us how to win? Yeah, I wish. If I could teach you how to win, I wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> well, kind of like the uh, the uh, the fortune teller. Oh, I can tell you your future. Got one question. I'll pay you fifty dollars. Give me the lottery numbers, the winning lottery numbers. They won't. Oh, that's not how it works. Yeah, right. Okay, there you go. Select five different numbers from one to sixty-nine in the left play area, and select the Powerball one through twenty-six in the right area. So go ahead and write that down. Now we're gonna go over several lottery questions today. And basically, you'll have two or three in your notebook for those that are writing. Now, does it say anything about order in this question? No. So therefore, you're going to be using the combination. Now, there's two or three things that you have to remember about the lottery. One, it's usually combinations because the lottery does not do order. Luckily, why? Nobody would ever win it. That's impossible. Okay? It's just about impossible to win the lottery as far as being in order. So that's it's going to be a combination. The second most important thing is watch the wording of the question. Why? Because I disagree with the book on some of these questions. This is not for I'll get to this in just the wording of the question. Because the word win. Win means they're assuming you're buying a what? You're buying a ticket. Now that's very important, isn't it? Yes. Because you can't win the lottery if you what? Don't play. Now, there will be some questions that will say, what are the... Odds, or what are the what's the 
the word the question to where they want just the denominator. Okay? If it says winning, what is the chances of winning? Um, what is the probability of winning? That means they're assuming you're buying at least one what? Ticket. So all of your answers with a lottery, if it specifies winning, will have a denominator with a one as the numerator. Unless they specify you buy 10 tickets or you buy 20 tickets. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. So your combination is going to go on the bottom. Now this is assuming that you're buying one ticket. Now this is very important because you're going to see some homework questions or some test questions and you'll put one over the denominator and they just want the denominator, which is ridiculous because you don't play, you don't, you don't sit there and say, well, I want to figure the lottery, but I ain't going to buy a ticket. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. So there's some questions I, I disagree with when they... Do this. So I'm going to put a little cloud around this. You need to highlight it because that's where the one comes from. Now, if the question says, what is the probability if you buy 100? Then that would be 100. Okay? So the bottom is going to be the multiplicative rule. What is the probability of the five numbers and the probability of what? The one number. So you're going to use the multiplicative rule as far as the denominator goes. So how you do it? Well, we just do combinations. One over parentheses times parentheses combination combination. So now you just got to go through and find N and R. Now, I always told you that N is always the biggest number and R is always the smallest number, right? So what is N with the first set of numbers? Well, 69. 69. And then what is R? 5. And this is going to be, uh, N is equal to what? 26. And R is equal to 4. Which is going to give you 26. But we'll go through the motions. All right, go to it. And we want a fraction, okay? So use your calculator. And we're going to write it as a fraction. Because that's what people understand with the Now I'm going to skip over to my handy dandy spreadsheet and I'm going to show you how you can do it on the spreadsheet. Because that's where I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, so just give me a second. And I'm going to make it big where everybody can see it. So you won't complain. So, in to what we say 69 and R is equal to 5 and then over here I got N is equal to 26 and R is equal to 1 
Okay, then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say, well, what if we buy one ticket? What if we buy 10 tickets? What if we buy 25 tickets? What if we buy 50 tickets? What if we buy 100 tickets? What if we buy 1,000 tickets? No, let's make it 500. 500 tickets. What if we buy 1,000 tickets? 2,000 tickets. 5,000 tickets. Um, let's go with 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, 1 million, 1.5 million. Two million. And then you'll start asking your question, if you've got two million dollars to spend, why are you playing the lottery? Well, some people are greedy, some people just don't know any better. Now, why am I doing this? I'm doing this to try to show you something because back a long time ago, I'd say probably three or four governors ago, the lottery came to South Carolina. And right before we had the lottery, we had video poker. Now, you talking about the crack cocaine or the Marlboros of gambling? That was the Marlboros or the crack cocaine of gambling. In other words, every, I ain't going to say what, but every person that, you know, had an addiction played those video poker machines. And you'd go into the QT. We didn't have QT back then. You'd go into the local gas station or whatever, and there'd be two or three adults in there on a line of video poker machines with kids running around in their diapers, you know, yelling, you know, wanting attention or whatever. I mean, it was that bad, okay? People would spend all day in a convenience store, okay? Spending quarters in a video poker machine, all right? And then when the lottery came, Everybody was scared to death. Everybody in the nation was worried about South Carolina getting the lottery. Why? Because we're a bunch of dumb, ignorant, racist Southerners. We can't handle the lottery because of why? What was video poker doing to our state? It was killing our state. It was. Now, the state was getting plenty of taxes, but it was killing a lot of families. It was killing a lot of, not killing physically, but it was really hurting a lot of families because people would just line up and you would be in waiting lines to play video poker. Ask your parents. They'll remember. It was terrible. And, you know, the lottery came, and so they made a deal. And basically, if we'll get rid of video poker, we'll do the lottery. And did it work out good? Yes. Because people do know the, the they do know the odds about the lottery, but what are the odds of winning a hand of poker versus a hand of lottery? Bless you. They're a whole lot better because you only got 52 cards. Where with lottery you got bukus of different combinations of numbers. You with me? So it was like when the lottery came everybody was like okay we'll play the lottery but I'm not going to put a lot of money in it versus everybody going to the crack cocaine and gambling which was video poker so if you can find the crack cocaine of something if you can find the crack cocaine of an industry you'd be rich cigarette uh, tobacco company did it with cigarettes the drug industry did it with crack and now meth. If you could find the cheapest way for people to get whatever, whatever the case may be, and gambling was the video poker machines. So they made millions, billions probably. So here we go. What is the probability? So that means I've got to do, I've got to do a combination here. So I'm going to do 69, well, I'm doing it up here. 69, so equals, this is how you do it, come bin. There it is. Write it down, come bin. 
parentheses, 69, comma, what? Five. Close parentheses, enter. And this should be 26. I'll just copy and paste it. Control V. Everybody with me? Now, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make sure these go to two digits. Format to two digits. And now I'm going to say equals this guy times F4 times, I can't see, times this guy F4. And copy that down. Everybody with me? I did this times this. Read your formula. This times this. This is your, that's your um, N69 combination 5. This is your what? 26 combination what? 1. That's always going to be, whenever you got a multiplicative 1 there, this could be 57. That would be 57. If you got a 1 right here, there's only one combination of the 26 numbers. That's it. Okay? So, I mean, 26. If I give you 26 numbers and I give you one ball and you put the one ball in the air machine, how many different combinations are you going to get? 26. Because you're only pulling one ball out at a time. All right? So now here is this divided by this because Bubba is not going to buy just one ticket. He's going to buy 10 tickets and he's going to buy 1,000 tickets. Okay, I heard you chuckle. Why'd you chuckle? Speak up. Articulate and volume. Do you hear me mumble to y'all? Yes, sir. Okay. What if I did that to y'all every day? One of y'all would go crazy. One of y'all would go bananas. Okay, let's do this again. Why did y'all chuckle or what do you see here? Because it's zero to see. No matter what. Okay. Now, you can easily change this to 10. Let's change it to 10 digits. But I think you're going to see, I had a professor at Clemson. The name was Joel Brawley. He wrote books, math books. Very interesting guy. But he would go to Vegas and he would test his theories. And he was a little short guy. I think he was about four foot tall. And... Uh, he wrote books on gambling, and one of his books is on this right here. Who is smarter, Bubba that buys one ticket or Bubba that buys 100,000 tickets? One ticket. Why? Because you've got a 0% chance of winning whether you buy one ticket or whether you what? by 1.5 or 1, 1, 1, 1 million tickets. Does it see that? The probability don't go up until you start into the what? Until the millions. So, should you buy one ticket or should you buy a thousand? Buy one. I only buy one. I buy one every other day. That's two dollars. You're not supposed to play thinking you're going to win. You're supposed to play with the fun of, I might, what? Win. Is there a difference between thinking you're going to win and I might win? That's the difference between somebody that's, we're not going there, or somebody's playing it for fun. 
somebody that buys a lottery ticket and gives it to somebody as a present. That's playing for fun. Okay? Going out and buying and spending your fair money. You know, people go out and borrow money to go to the fair in Anderson County. Going out and buying. Now, what if we change it to order? No, first of all, let's check and see if we're right. One over, what is this? 292 million? Is that what everybody got? Mm -hmm. So let's look. 292, 201, 338. Let's look at the odds on our handy dandy South Carolina lottery and let's see if we know what we're doing. So, Powerball, odds. I don't believe it. Look at there. We actually got it right. And you feel good about yourself. Now, what if we made it in order? Well, then we would just change one thing. What would we change? We'd change this to not NCR, but what? NPR. And that would be equals permute. Parentheses, 69, comma, what? Five. And control C, control V. And now I'm going to go over here and we're going to do, we'll call this NCR, NCR, and we're going to call this N what? NPR. So that's going to be equal to this times, sorry, times this, we need to F4 there, and F4 there, and now copy that down. I'm just copying, it's going to be the same number. And now, let's see what happens, let's see what the probability is of winning in order. What I tell you is going to be impossible, right? Well, let's see. Let me make it. Let me make it ten here because I want you to see what you're actually doing. I know it's. it's I should just teach y'all to regurgitate. That's what I should do. Equals 1 divided by that number. So if you had a lottery that told you to have the numbers in order, even if you bought 2 million tickets, what's your chances of winning? Zero. A whole lot less than not in order. Let's do 20 million. Add one zero, right? There. If you had 20 million, if you bought 20 million tickets, you still would only have a 7% chance of winning in no, no order. You would have 0% chance winning with order. Capiche? So, when you turn 18, as I told my daughter, if you want to play the lottery, fine, but don't go out and buy 15 tickets because that's ridiculous. Just buy one. I don't think she's played the lottery yet. I hope she I hope she took after me and doesn't have an addictive personality. That's one thing I'm blessed with because I'm going to tell you, there are a lot of people out there suffering with addictive personalities, and I feel sorry for anybody that has an addictive personality. What's an addictive personality? <coughs> Somebody that's easily addicted to something bad. All right. You do the Mega Million. So here we go. How to play. I'm going to let you have, the, you got the, you got the 
Powerball, and here's the Mega Million, and that's two good examples for you to have in your handy dandy notebook. So I'm going to put it right here in the next page, and that way you'll have two examples if I could ever get it in here. There you go. No yawning in class, please. I'm trying to make it bigger, so just hold on a minute. One of these days I'm going to get training. There you go. So any other good movies this weekend? No. Yeah, it's real good. I was trying to think of any good football games. Oh yeah, LSU and Georgia. No, Georgia and Florida is good. LSU and Florida, and then Georgia and South Carolina, which I don't think that's going to be. That's not a fun game. No. But I did see a lot of improvement with Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, they only got they only got six seniors, and that's three on defense and three on offense. So. I'm going to give him a break. I think that coach is pretty good. I think the, he just got a lot of young talent. Well, he needs to keep, he needs to keep that quarterback in. Because they did not make a quarterback change. Yeah. So he well, it only, took, it only took South Carolina a couple of games to figure out they needed a quarterback change. Just took one game. Yeah, but he played last year, too. Oh, yeah, but we didn't have anybody to replace him. Yeah. He was kind of stuck. I think. If South Carolina makes better coaching decisions, I think they would win. Yeah. I mean, you got that boy from Clemson. What's his name? Feaster. Oh, God. Clemson plays this week. I'm going to have to shut down my Facebook. Oh, yeah. Like they're going to lose. We might. I don't think you're going to have to worry about them losing. I meant Clemson losing for the rest of the year. Well, that's because North Carolina has a national championship coach. I mean, North Carolina did what South Carolina should have done and got off the hip and got a national championship coach instead of a Wahala coach. I mean, honestly, I mean, what did he do in Florida? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but Ohio State, they're the darlings. Is that, did AP come out? Have they tried to move Ohio State above the number four yet? Uh, yeah, they're tied. They're tied for third with Georgia. I can't wait to see Penn State or Wisconsin. I hope they just keep their rear end. Because that's the only two teams they play. The first time Ohio State plays a good football team, you you can you can tell it. Probably. Okay, movies and football, we're through. Somebody's gonna complain, so we got All right, so we got one over parentheses, parentheses. Parentheses, parentheses, C, C, and we've got one there, and we've got five here. Yeah. And what is my N here? And what is my N here? 
25. So somebody tell me what the fraction is. One, uh, the whole thing. Just the bottom. Three oh two. Three oh two. Five seven five. Five seven five. Is that what everybody got? Yes. Now you know how to do the lottery question. Now the only other question you'll get with combinations is the trifecta which is self-explanatory, just through the top three places, and that would be if you have seven horses, seven horses, and you want to know how many times, how many different combinations of one, two, three there is, well, this is called what? Order. So that would be seven combination or permutation? Permutation three. Okay? That's called the trifecta question. You will see that on future tests. Trifecta. Did I show y'all that last time? I remember mentioning it. Okay, that's a trifecta question. You got seven horses running in a race. How many different ways can there be top three? In other words, of those seven horses. So somebody do, what is seven permutation of three? 210. So there's 210 different ways you can win that race. So if you're betting on a trifecta, if you bet $270, you're guaranteed to what? Win. One dollar on each trifecta. You're guaranteed to what? Win. So let's do a, another type. And that is board members. The difference between a board and a committee, a board has officers. So let's go with, you've got 40 people to choose from, and you want a vice pres a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary. So this represents what? Order. So that means permutation. 40. Permutation what? Four. Four. And somebody do that for me. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Just give me the scientific notation if y'all can read it. That's like... Scientific notation to high school students is like a ruler. Y'all what? Can't read it. So somebody just tell me what it says. Um, two million. Oh, you going to read it? Uh, 193,360. So if you have 40 people in a group and you want to say, okay, we're going to have an election and I want you to, to elect Four people to serve as officers. There's over two million permutations. Do y'all remember Iron Man 2? When he was sitting in the donut yes. and in the restaurant, yeah. came down and Samuel Jackson, I love Samuel Jackson. I don't I don't agree with his politics, but I love him as a you know he's gonna be the new Alexa voice. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. They're gonna, can you imagine? <laughs> You ask the question, uh, Sam, can you tell me what, what the hell you want to know that for? <laughs> you ever seen him in movies? Yes. He's very aggressive. Yes. Okay, somebody's going to complain that I said what the hell. Anyway, <laughs> that's, I don't know how we got on Alexa, but he is recording his voice so he can be, if you want to choose a voice, like for 99 cent, he's one of those voices you can put on your Alexa. Okay. I mean, on Alexa, you can have this yelling voice you want to do. Yeah. So he's going to be, <laughs> you'll catch some of the stuff he says. Oh my gosh, it'd be hilarious. Anyway, that's that. Now, let's do a committee question. Let's do a committee question. You got 40 people, 40 people in a group, and you want to have a committee of, I can't ever, I think that's right. 
committee of five people. So that would be 40 what? Combined. Combined or combination of five. And that's going to be what? Uh, 658,008. Zero, zero, 008? Uh-huh. So you got the same 40 people, different committees, there's no order. Okay? And those are the type questions you'll see. I gave you two lottery questions. I gave you a trifecta question. I gave you a board question. I gave you a committee question. Those are the five, those are the questions that I will put on a test. Now, you may have one of those about the entrees. You know, you got two appetizers. You got, I don't forget, uh, four entrees. I don't know how to spell entrees. Uh, you got three desserts. You know, you can spell dessert two ways. You can spell it with two S's or you can spell it with one S. I thought it was that is that is a word that you can do two different. Yeah. I think it is. <laughs> okay, well look it up. Desert and dessert. There's something about those two words that you can use. You can spell them. I don't know what it is. You'll have to look it up. I remember when English. I remember that there's something about this word. I don't know what it is. But you'll have to look it up. All right, desert. That gum dessert. Whatever. All right, so what would that be? Two times four times what? Three. Two times four times three, which is eight times three, which is 24. That's another test question you might get on my test. I'm trying to think of another one. I can't think of one right now. Oh, here's one. Here's another test question. The word smile. How many different ar arrangements of that word, arrangement of those letters, can you have? Well, that would be five factorial. Why? Because there's five letters. So that would be five factorial. Another word, five factorial, what is that? 620 or 720? What is five factorial? I don't know. What? 120. 120. So there's 120 different arrangements of that word. Now there's going to be a couple of homework questions uh, that you might need to send to me um, because I can't remember the questions right now. But hopefully you've got enough to go on right now to finish up. 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, and 5.5. Caprende? That means, what are we going to do Thursday? We're going to go over the test. So that means, you better hurry up and finish up your homework. All right, let's see how many people we got in here today. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. Let me see how many we got in here today. Oh, and Miss Johnson. Let's see. I think everybody's here today. Hold on a second. Don't leave for those that are starting to have convulsions. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the attendance so y'all don't get a. Oh my gosh. HMCC and Maybe I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Crap. We're missing one person. Let me count again. I know we got Miss Johnson. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Oh, there we are missing one. What's the last name? Jordan. Gordon. Okay, now, does anybody have, Miss Johnson, you still there or you fell asleep? I'm here. Okay, do you have any questions? I don't. I'm just amazed that you're, it's just amazing that people can find out how to get on Skype. It's just amazing. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, the, I'm letting you go early today because we're done with this chapter and I don't want to go over new stuff. So make sure you send in questions because Thursday is it. Thursday is questions and homework. You're going to be out of luck after that. Y'all have a good day. See y'all later.